Hi, my name is Pablo Requena and I would like to show you um, what's the process and, and how to fit the bindings uh, on a classical guitar. Um, I've already fitted the bindings at the back and I've done that with uh, brown tape which is quite strong so it's, it's able to hold the, the binding in place really quite well and, um, and that's very important because I need to have protection for the edges of the back before I can start gluing the front so I'm gonna hold the guitar on the bench okay so now that is nice and solid and steady I've got the bindings and preference that I'm going to be fitting and I'm going to be fitting the two in the front at the same time using this cord okay so the first thing I'm going to do is to prepare the cord I'm just going to leave it on the floor and I have the cord ready there and um, I'm going to start by gluing the waist and I have a couple of marks here so that I know exactly where I need to start gluing them so that this will fit here I've already cut it at the right length and I've already cut this area here to be able to fit it in and this one I'm going to leave it a little bit long okay so I haven't cut this length to the right length I want to cut that a bit later on and this one the same I've put two marks so that I can line them up with marks on the soundboard and exactly the same the reason is so that I know where this will go but this one I have cut to length already so I know that if I line, if I line everything up carefully this end of this binding and perfect will go exactly to the center which is where I need, it to, they need them to go right so I'm going to start actually doing it and um, I will explain as much as I can as I do it, but really I think uh, image is worth a thousand words they're saying, so let's have a look. Okay, so now I can spread the glue here a little bit. I'm going to clean it under the bench. That's my favorite place where to clean the glue. And now I'm just going to present this one in the right place there. And very carefully, I need these three lines, they need to, need to line up very well. Okay, so I'm just going to put that there. And I'm going to hold it with a little bit of tape. Actually, the tape is over here, so I need to just while I'm holding it. I'm just going to cut myself a little bit of tape. I should have got that ready. So that's going to hold it just in that for me while I get this one in the right place. And exactly the same thing here. I want to get these three lines lining up as much as possible. And now I've got this, the cord here ready. All I need to do is to start tightening them up. So this is a system that I really like because it means that I can 
do all the bindings quite quickly because the ones at the back I can do um, using tape and then once the pack is fitted I can go on to doing the front so it means that within a few hours I can have all the bindings done for the guitar. There's several methods you can do one binding at a time with a, with a jig or in different ways but I always prefer to do it like this. So that goes in there well, that as well and that as well. So now I can take this tape off Okay, so now I'm gonna go on to do the up about, but I need to be able to hold the strings somehow, so I'm just gonna pass it under one of the um, one of the strings under here, and that will hold it for me. Now I've got a brush which I'm gonna I'm gonna dry a little bit this brush which I keep in water and I'm going to put the glue in this side first up to about here and then with the brush I can bring it in into that tight area which the nozzle is not able to get in. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit more to here. Okay, and now we're going to do this one. Okay, so now I can pull this off. And now I'm going to bring it to about here. So what it means is that I'm gradually being able to push in or to put pressure into along the length of the binding. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the string. I'm going to just hold it in place when I put the glue in another section. So I'm going to leave this at the moment. I'm just going to leave it there. And now I'm going to come and do this area here. come all the way up to about there.
Right, so now I'm going to do this section. gonna wipe off a little bit of this excess glue. I'm going to start by putting a bit of pressure on the lower part and then I'm going to be putting the string all along here Okay, next part of the job is to glue this end of the upper part together at the same time with this end of the lower part because you can see we need to keep the strings sort of opposite to each other so that it holds everything in place. So I'm going to put in the glue for the top first and I bring in the glue there. brush and get the glue into the corners here into the edge there like that and this one okay I'm not gonna bring it in yet I would like to put the glue on this one first And remember this one is the one that I already cut to length, so it's going to be um, finishing dry in the, in the middle. So I can bring this in and wipe off some of this excess glue. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this one in place. And um, Basically, I want to make sure that it comes in and round the bend really tight into it, and then 
I push in this top. No, it doesn't really want to go in too easily. So I'm just gonna get the hammer, which I've got here. That's it, a little bit of encouragement. can start again but now I'm gonna go up to about here and I want to put another one in there so I need to come back to the middle bring it up to there out of string so all I need to do is to join it into another row So now I've got these two in place. Again, I need to lock the string somehow down here. Okay, so that will hold it for me just enough. And um, you can see that this length now I have to cut so that it fits in here properly. And this one is already cut to the right length, so that one will go in there, no problem. So, to be able to cut this, I've got this board, which I've made it to be the right length, so that I can rest the bindings and perfectly on, on this end of the board, and do the cutting over here. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is to clean the glue in this end in there and I'm gonna start by fitting the periphery the black and white lines so I'm gonna give, give myself an approximation line so I'm still leaving it a little bit longer than it needs to be I'm just gonna mark it there So I know that that's still longer than it needs to be. And now I'm going to get this chisel. And I'm going to trim, trim this end off just to get to that mark that I don't want to scalp off. I know it's long, but I'm going to see how it would fit because I want to see that I'm approaching it in the right angle and I can see that it's open on the top 
because I've got a little bit of an angle this way so the bottom is a bit too long and it's catching so it doesn't allow to close on the top so this is the time to correct this so that by the time we get to the final length it meets properly much better yes I'm happy with that but now it's a little bit too long you can see that we got this not fitting so I just need to work out how much I need to cut and I don't think it's much really so I need to be able to cut it exactly in the right it's following the same angles that I've got here but just trimming a very small shaving and we just keep trying until yeah it's still long but it's still in the right way so a tiny bit more take a little bit off the bottom yeah that's a very nice fit so now I need to cut the length for the binding which is the, this crosswood so um, I have the perfling to give me an idea of the length so the first thing I'm going to do is to trim this off just to meet Have a look. Yeah, and this also will fit very well, but it's too long, so we're gonna have to cut a little bit more.
do that tiny, tiny bit longer. So I'm just going to cut just a little shaving of the end. So as you can see that this is going to meet together here very nicely. Right, so now it's time to put the glue like before. We're going to put the glue up here first. Now in this end. Okay, so now, like I did with the other one, I need to push in this very tightly in. Now this one, the same, needs a bit of encouragement, so that's it. Now we are going to start, well actually I'm going to take some of the excess of the glue here as well.
that's it. Now we just need to make sure that everything is lining up correctly here with all these lines. And it is. And then I'm just going to wrap the string on the neck a couple of times. So that the string doesn't come undone. when I come to flip the end, the inlay in the end at the bottom of the guitar. There's no masses of glue that are interfering. Okay, well this is all that we need to do for now. Um, in a few hours I can take the strings off, but now as it's the end of the day, I won't do that until tomorrow and then you know it's thoroughly dry. And then I can start scraping all, all the excess of the bindings to get them flush to the soundboard and to the back and the sides and so on and then just fit the end uh, the day lay for the end and this is how I can get the, the bindings done. I hope you find it helpful and if you have any questions please let me know. You can have a look at my website and, and, and in the, um, the information about my courses which uh, you can find in, in what's the name of the website? It's, the website is www.guitarmakingcourse.org you can find the information there about how to learn to do this and uh, these guitars. Thank you very much.